mean, here's here's the problem. People go on, oh, oh, you stereotype. You know what? This is what it comes down to. A Klingon's a Klingon. It's that simple. And people, some people in the universe just don't like fucking Klingons. Because most Klingons are Klingons. So, in other words, most races are just exactly the way they are. Same with white people and their little I like nanies bullshit, whatever. Absolutely true. But but the point is, is that's why we have stereotypes. That's why the way we are the way we are. It's in our genes. So that's the way it goes, man. And it's society, environmental conditioning, all sorts of fucking shit, man. That make us like that. So I'll just fucking, let's get with the program and get into realism. A lot of people in this world don't want to wake up and get into reality, man. They're all fucking living in some fantasy world online or something. Fred, it's, you know, half the stage you said she did five months in stir. It was a one-year sentence. The insider trading. Yeah, yeah but that's not sound bad. I mean, uh, you're going to be getting a nice and fight for millennials. They must be yeah, talking about Martha Stewart here. On the balcony, but let's hope that, that whole fucking shit was unbelievable to me because either, what's gross is Calm you down. have a woman that's a billionaire and she's going to jail for, what did they say it was? It was $30,000 from her inside trade or something like that. It wasn't even that much. And I'm like, really? That's fucking gross. And if I was at a party and someone said to me and I happened to hear it, how is that fucking inside trading? What, my ears and my mind supposed to block that information out? It would be like the government and someone secretly telling me missiles have been launched from Russia, but I'm just supposed to fucking secretly block it out and pretend I didn't hear that. Yeah. I'm gonna do something fucking with that information. So they sent her to jail, which is, wow. That was crazy, eh? And fucking maybe 30 grand, who cares, man, when someone like that, 30 grand is nothing to do I just don't think it was that much from what I remember, I could be wrong, but I'm sure it was nothing to it compared to what she said. Fucking ridiculous. These lights are like this. Like hardly any cars come and bunch here. Here. This is insane. Looking for team members. Not on that side, but on this side. And commercial roofing estimators. Which makes sense anyway. It's rush hour this way. And this is your opportunity to work with the best. Call 416. Look at this shit, man. There's not even cars here. Fucking. Make us wait. And then it's on end here. Like I said, Abraham, the horses go about 10 miles per hour. If you got two horses, you can pull more. Here's a, here's a fact for you people out there, if you're watching this video. Freaking, uh, you jog, it actually makes you more dumb. So, if you jog before work and go to work, your, your intelligence will actually be dumbed down because it swells vessels in your brain when you jog. That makes you thinking a lot slower, but I guess most people don't know that. But that's why they have science. <laughs> <laughs> so in a sense, jogging's not that great for you to avoid before work, especially. Media, of course, wins at the uh, at the fore of this. This will be we'll be talking about uh, issues related to uh, systemic racism in Toronto, and the meeting is going to focus on anti-black racism as well as Islamophobia, anti-indigenous racism, and racism experienced by other oh, communities. Kathleen Wynne will be there. Uh, Michael Cote. Racism. Where the fuck in Canada is this Josh all rampant racism? Tennis. That is and fucking wild. Welcome to something sad. It's not sad. It's really interesting. 
So I was reading about that girl there, that little girl. They're saying they have a, uh, they showed a closed circuit TV of a sedan driving in the area just before I guess all this supposedly happened. And they got the guy of the sedan and the guy of the sedan is in relation to the fucking ex. Just like I said, man. Yeah, it's definitely him. There's no doubt about it because the cops would be thinking what I'm thinking. Okay, that's fine you're friends with Buddy. What are you doing at his exes at that time? There would be zero reason for you to be somewhere where he doesn't live. Why would you be at his ex-girlfriend's area? You know what I mean? On her street. If you had nothing to do with it just before all this disappearance. Even if the guy, oh, I was looking for uh, whatever, Trey or whatever the fucking guy's name is. Yeah, as if. He doesn't live there, so why would you even be in the area? He's, it's, it's definitely him, man. There's, the, that is just no coincidence there, man. That is fucking, that is a hardcore, pretty circumstantial evidence, man. Because there's no reason why that guy should even be in the neighborhood. A friend of the, the ex-boyfriend's? Why would a friend of the father of the dad's be in that area? You wouldn't. <laughs> It would be like me going to one of my friend's fucking exes right now, hanging around. She just happens to get killed the moment I'm there. But why would I even be in that area? Well, I wouldn't. How, whenever it was 20-something years ago, you would barely see a car on a Sunday driving. Because back then, things were closed on Sundays, right? But even on a Saturday, it wasn't jammed like it is with cars now, man. It's insane that cars are traffic now. And the government, the city, whoever, they do shit about it. Don't give a fuck about nothing because they don't know how the future plan. It's insane how a common person that doesn't work in politics can future plan be way better, like a thousand times better than any politician. It blows me the fuck away, man. I don't know why people just don't fucking start doing what has to be done, man. We gotta do what has to be done to get shit done. Whether some group likes it or not, it doesn't matter. If it's the right thing to do to get it done, you get it done, man. Kind of like Donald Trump. You gotta do what shit you gotta do to get it done. They're acting like he's fucking, like he's being an executioner or something. He's not. It's like mad cow disease, man. You stop the import of mad cow, you get rid of the diseased cow you got in your country now, and then you figure out what to do and slowly import back in again. It's plain and simple. It's all right to do it with cows, but not terrorists. Like, fuck off to anybody that thinks that it's not all right to do that. Like, fuck off, man. I don't care if the Catholics, Mormons, whoever the fuck was doing the terrorism, man, is fucking, they can fucking get out too, man, and we can stop that shit too. I don't give a shit what group's doing it. I don't even care if it's religious, race-based, nothing. Whoever the fuck it is, stop fucking doing it. Get the fuck out. Fucking, we all gotta live in paranoia in the fucking Western world now. It's sad. <laughs> it's because I'm here. I would have been somewhere in that straight line somewhere over there. I would have been in a going straight line until any of these advances would have came on. No doubt in my mind. What's this guy waiting for? The hell you waiting for, man? Fuck, wake up! Say, because <laughs> if that's the case, shit, I was related to a bunch of people that got fucking slayed in Africa by a bunch of pygmies and stuff way back a thousand years ago, so I guess I should now go on. Fuck, I got Indian blood in me too, I should go on about that with white men and everybody else too. Such stupidity. And he decided, uh, you know, maybe he's going to plan that for my view with the dead relief you need. Oh, never mind. So, so they still have the people in this place right there. It used to be inside. Is there one inside, do you remember? I remember I came here with this guy, Jason Twitty. He used to have this addiction to phones all the time. I used to tell him, you're fucking insane. Like, we go out somewhere and he'd be, like, getting all, like, tizzic because he needs to get to a phone and call, get on the phone or something. It was fucked. I'm telling you, it was like a drug. Just fucked up. So we're in here one day and he fucking right away hits this fucking payphone and starts calling people who are waiting for fucking trade. And I'm just laughing. I'm like, wow. I'm fucking real, buddy. Yeah, it was pretty fucked up. It was a huge phone addiction.
And I mean, we didn't have cell phones then, so that's what's funny about it. It was a, just an addiction to a normal from landline phone. That fucked up, eh? Like, you ever see that in life? Like, I mean, before cell phones, obviously people are addicted to cell phones, but to landlines before cell phones are existed, that, that they actually start pacing back and forth and they're getting sweaty and it's like they're jonesing. I mean, it's like he was jonesing, I'm serious. It was pretty fucked up, man, to watch this shit. Because it was just for a phone. He was a good guy, though. What do you think? I think all lives matter. Or just black lives matter. Yeah, just black. Sure. No, what's your opinion? Yeah. yeah, I know, that's why it just doesn't make sense that anybody that doesn't think that, that just doesn't... <laughs> there's something wrong with your head, plain and simple. Whatever your agenda is, whatever, she there's something wrong with your head. She's white, she's black. So she's the only one that matters. It's crazy. And then the Muslims are going to go, well, Muslim lives matter, and then, then we'll have to cater to that, and then the case of okay lives matter, and we'll have to cater to that, and then eventually it'll just be everybody, and then someone's just going to go, wow, y'all did that, now it's all lives matter. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it's fucking it's retarded, eh, all these groups. Away we go again to the roads and a check of AM640 chopper traffic for low security tower. Look at this fucking moron. Wow. Thinks the 401 is still a hundred, man. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say to that. Is this Yahoo? Another Yahoo. Let's just floor it. Look at this shit. I'm actually doing, what is, I don't even know if it's speed limit 60 here, I'm actually doing about 8 over it. If not, if it's 50, I'm doing 18 over it. So what are those guys doing? Jesus. I'm pretty sure it's 50 now. 